In this video, I'm going to show you how you use a bopper or a floater to catch a striped bass like this one on my kayak while kayak fishing. The bopper is a plastic floating rig that has two hooks on the top and the bottom. To expose the top hook, you depress the bottom hook and press down on that black button and you attach your line within the hook. Then to expose the bottom hook, I just press the button and the hook on the top and that exposes the hook on the bottom and I insert my line as well into that hook so that your line is actually uh, connected to two hooks. You can actually twist onto the bottom hook so that your um, bopper is a fixed position on your uh, line. About five or six feet below that, I'll have my circle hook with my bait. In this case, it's a mackerel head. And um, then I'll start trolling it behind me. While I'm trolling on my kayak, the bopper is great because it'll float behind me and then my bait and my hook will be floating in the strike zone right below um, the bopper. Try to control your speed so you're not going too fast because then your bait might float to the surface. You can also attach other things, of course, like a lure. In this case, this is the uh, a tube and worm rig. You can also uh, catch live mackerel with a sabiki rig and attach live mackerel to a circle hook and use a bopper for that rig as well. And if your mackerel is not alive, you can also attach the hook under its chin through the top of its head, and then it'll still swim like a, like a live mackerel in the water while you're trolling it. The pros of using a bopper is that it'll keep your bait and hook in the strike zone, five or six feet from the surface of the water, or you can vary it depending on what you want. It avoids weeds and rocks, and it also gives you a visual cue when you're trolling or casting into the rocks. And when the fish is on, as in this case, you'll know because the bopper is actually underwater. Some of the cons of using a bopper is it's harder to cast. So in that case, you might want to use a slip bopper, which makes it easier to cast. And maybe I'll show you that on another video. I think it also creates a weak link like where it might break off at that point where you're twisting it on the hook. Believe it or not, I was kayak fishing on this same day and I actually saw a bopper swimming around in the middle of the ocean uh, by the rocks where I was and there was a fish attached to that bopper. I tried to paddle to chase it down, but it swam away. It was a huge fish, I'm sure. That's another fish that got away. Anyways, here I'm fighting the striped bass. It's coming closer to my kayak. Um, the bopper is still underneath the surface, but as I, I bring it closer to the kayak, you'll see that the bopper will start to break the surface. So here it is, I'm adjusting my drag. Now be careful because sometimes the striped bass might do unexpected things. So like in this case, it swims underneath my kayak. And luckily I had my drag um, light enough so that it didn't flip me over. You wanna make sure that there's enough drag so it's a cushion when, when fish do unexpected things. So anyway, here's, here's me landing the striped bass. Uh, there's a new limit uh, here in Boston where uh, in 2020 where the uh, striped bass has to between, be between 28 inches long and 35 inches long for it to be a keeper. Uh, this striped bass was uh, 24 or 25 inches. So catch photo and release. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I have other kayak fishing videos on my fishing playlist. Thanks.